Uh, guys, on the farm today, I'm starting out with a picture of the farm in kind of late summer. Why? Because this next chart says it all. This is probably about 60, 70 miles south of us, and that's the Twin Cities area of Minnesota. And they've got almost 90 inches of snow. And when 90 inches of snow melts, you get flooding. Well, up by me, I'm pushing over 100 inches of snow. And trust me, we had flooding here this spring. And one of the areas that really got hit was our kidding stalls in one of the goat barns. The kidding stalls happened to be the lowest point in the area. And the concrete slab on the other side is dry. The hay on the opposite side is just a little damp on the bottom. So then the water pooled in the kidding stalls. Totally unacceptable. So out comes the little mini skid loader, the outlaw. You've seen this before. And I'm going to get some gravel. Thankfully on the farm, I've kept a little bit around. So it wasn't long before I was able to scrape the beds, get the drainage towards the back of the barn, and lay a six inch bed of gravel in to start taking this water. Now this is on day one when I put the gravel in. A tiny bit damp, but you can walk on it. It's doing great. To be safe, I let it sit overnight. Yep, it picked up some moisture, don't get me wrong, but it's still pretty dry. The water is now running through it into the area I need to where there's drain tile and it can be pumped out and the goat kids wouldn't be standing on that. So now that I've got four or five inches of gravel down, on came thick heavy barn stall mats. What a pain in the butt they are to cut with a circular saw. But then I laid them down over the top because if I try to work with this gravel, it'll get dirty, it'll get clogged, the goats will fall in it, it's just a mess. But when you put in nice stall mats like this um, and then tamp it down with a nice tamper, you end up with a pretty, pretty nice setup that now I can more easily clean in bed. So my daughters came in here, um, we have um, five of these and she started bedding them with, with straw. And thankfully, we were able to get through this little headache. Again, we had five of these stalls, four of which flooded with over an inch of water in them. One had almost two inches of water in it. When we built this barn, we did a lot of hard work ourselves, but you know the, the floors just didn't end up level. The goats have been on them. They're wearing areas of the dirt deeper than others. And the reality was it, it probably wasn't the easiest for us to clean them out and keep them level either. So here we are. This stall here is now finished. I got a couple of the kids in it. I got this one here with, with more of the weak, the weak old babies in it. Um, as you can see, they're, they're still on the bucket bottles, which they will be for a while. These guys are pretty cute, aren't they? And their toys are back in here. The bottlers are back in here. Um, they're nice and dry. There's no more water issues. But sometimes on the farm, you got to do that. See, there's one that I haven't bedded yet, that stall. Here's this little one here with the, the sonnens in there. Just nice area it's nice and dry this is the best way i could fix it folks what a life on the farm sometimes you get caught by surprises um again a lot of snow melting we'll do that to you thanks for watching please keep subscribing and following us on these channels thanks